The Timpuchi Trail, also known as the Scenic 30A Bike Path, is a 19-mile paved recreational trail that gently glides along Florida's Scenic Highway 30A through a dozen distinct and charming beach communities, three incredible state parks, a dozen rare coastal dune lakes, and of course, the gorgeous Gulf of Mexico. Part of the Florida State Park System, the Tempucci Trail was developed in the late 1980s and early 1990s by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection as part of the state's effort to provide a safe and scenic route for cyclists, pedestrians, and other outdoor enthusiasts. The trail's name, Tempucci, is derived from a Native American word that means crooked river. But more specifically, this 30A trail is said to be named after Timpuchi Barnard, a Native American chieftain of the Uchi tribe, part of the Creek Nation. Timpuchi served as a member of the Creek National Council and fought alongside American troops against other indigenous tribes. When meeting Timpuchi Barnard's son, President Andrew Jackson greeted him by stating, a braver man than your father never lived. Timpucci Bernard died at the age of 58, just prior to the forced removal of all Creek Indians from Alabama. Like virtually all places in Florida, the Timpucci Trail is pretty darn flat, making it idyllic for extended families with cyclists of all ages and all levels. And you certainly don't need to take in the trail all at once, just pick a segment and pedal until your heart or legs are content. Whenever you need a break, you can rest assured you're never more than a couple of wheel turns away from cafes, restaurants, parks, shopping, and the best beaches in the world. I've got so many fond memories on the Timpuchi Trail. I ride my bike a lot now just because it's a lot more convenient. From one end to the other, you're going to be connected to nature and uh, for me, that's the best way to spend any day is connected to nature. The Timpuchi Trail begins appropriately at mile zero, located just south of the intersection of US Highway 98 and Scenic 30A. Cyclists will be immediately tempted to hang a hard right straight into Topsail Hill Preserve State Park, which contains its own extensive network of paved and unpaved trails that wind through diverse ecosystems, including sand dunes, coastal scrub, and pine forests. A little farther east, you'll pass Stallworth Lake on the right, the first of many coastal dune lakes you'll encounter on this scenic journey. Traversing through the beach community known as Dune Allen, you'll cross more lakes and enjoy fantastic glimpses of the gulf between some of the old cinder block homes that still cling to this area's rich past. There are some excellent beach access points along this portion of the Timpuchi Trail, including Dune Allen Regional Beach Access and Ed Walline Beach Access, both with picnic facilities and public restrooms. You can even enjoy a raw oyster break near Gulf Place at 30A's famous Shunk Gully Oyster Bar. Or if you somehow neglected to actually bring a bike on this bike ride, you can rent a 30A electric bike at the Yellow Store right here in Gulf Place. It's become a big hack for me when it comes to just getting around, but it's also just a relaxing way to spend a day. I've ridden the whole way several times. It really has changed the way that you can see 30A, not just an elite athlete can ride from one end to the other now, anybody can do it. As you pedal east, you'll cross a covered bridge at Draper Lake before you begin the long and physically punishing ascent straight up Blue Mountain. Okay, who am I kidding? Blue Mountain is hardly a speed bump, but once you reach the summit, you can treat yourself to a nice mimosa brunch at Blue Mabel or wait until you cross the Blue Mountain Range to snag lunch at Redfish Taco or even an ice cream at Blue Mountain Creamery. With Blue Mountain now firmly in your rear view, you'll soon cross three more dune lakes, including Big Redfish Lake, Little Redfish Lake, 
and Alligator Lake before you reach Grayton Beach, arguably the soul of the 30A community. Before continuing along the Timpucci Trail, hang a hard right onto Funiac Street and cruise down past two of 30A's famous beach bars, the Red Bar and Chiringo. There's a sandy boardwalk here where you can take in all of Grayton Beach's gorgeous glory before continuing your ride east. Just a short pedal further, the 2,000 acre Grayton Beach State Park offers another delightful detour with public facilities and even more trailheads for both hiking and biking. These offshoot trails are sandy and undeveloped, so reserve them for the more advanced riders in your group. Around mile marker nine, you'll cross Western Lake, perhaps scenic 30A's most iconic vista, before cruising into Watercolor, Florida, one of 30A's signature resort communities. There are excellent trails here as well, making Watercolor perhaps 30A's best community for biking and hiking. 30A's Beach Happy Cafe here in Watercolor has even become something of a hangout for peddlers pausing long enough for coffee, a smoothie, a fresh bite, or even a cold draft beer. Right next door, parking can be a challenge in the ever-popular seaside community, which makes bikes and e-bikes the ultimate way to visit and explore this beloved beach town. As you first enter town, turn left on Natchez Street and look for the Truman House where Jim Carrey filmed one of his most iconic moments. As you ride into the town center, there will likely be many pedestrians, so it's best to dismount through this congested area and take in all the energy that this vibrant community has to offer. If you're in need of a break, grab something to eat or drink along Seaside's famous Airstream Row, including barefoot barbecue, some gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches, and much more. After leaving Seaside, arguably the heart of 30, you'll pass through Seagrove and cross Eastern Lake before riding along a long stretch of trail sandwiched between Point Washington State Forest and Deer Lake State Park. Don't miss the opportunity to explore this recently refurbished treasure of a park. The Timpucci Trail finally comes to a spectacular conclusion as Scenic Highway 30A rejoins US Highway 98, but not without first putting on one final dazzling display. Known for its jaw-dropping, stark white architectural beauty, Alice Beach is home to cafes, restaurants, parks, and plazas, perfect for indulging in end-of-ride rewards. Wind through the north side of this extraordinary community and cross Somerset Bridge before refueling at Fonville Press, George's, Raw and Juicy, or the Citizen Restaurant. Just a short stroll or pedal east, you'll pass through the villages at Seacrest and into Rosemary Beach, the perfect punctuation mark to bring your ride to a close. Amidst this bike and pedestrian friendly town, you'll find charming architecture that evokes old world vibes, as well as an upscale collection of restaurants and boutique shops. When I first came here, I went camping in Grayton Beach State Park called my wife from the park and said, we have to move here. And watching it grow up has just been awesome. Really, it, it's starting to feel like an Aspen at the beach type of feeling where you've got these high-end elevated amenities and things to do, and it really is something special. As far as happy trails go, 30A's Timpucci Trail is about as happy as it gets. Beach bars, coffee shops, food trucks, state parks, the Timpucci Trail offers it all. But when the trail finally runs out, don't worry. You can just turn around and do it all over again. Or you can always go back the other way.